I'd like to tell you something about human brain evolution and why are our cognitive capacities so unique. Hi, I'm Kasia Wozek, the lead author of the study on the organization and evolution of the brain lipidome published in this issue of Neuron. We are now at the Partner Institute for Computational Biology of the Max Planck Society and the Chinese Academy of Sciences in Shanghai, where the major part of this study was performed. The motivation behind this, as well as other studies in our group, is finding what the molecular basis of the human phenotype are. Chimpanzees are our genetically closest relatives, differing from us just by a tiny fraction of our genomes. Beyond any doubt, chimps are incredibly clever, however, studies so far did not find any genetic explanations for the cognitive differences between them and humans. If not genetic, then what are the molecular differences that contribute to the unique capacities of our human brains? In our study, we investigated lipids. Why lipids? Well, half of our brain in dry weight is composed of lipids. These hydrophobic molecules are the essential building blocks of cellular membranes and allow for signal transmission across neurons. So what are the specific lipids present in a brain? And can they tell us what makes human brain so special? We decided to approach these questions through a comparative approach taking advantage of the rich collection of tissue samples we have gathered in our freezers, coming from human, chimp, rhesus macaque and mouse species. Our set of tissue samples included three brain regions two parts of the neocortex, that is the seat of our complex cognitive behaviors, and one from cerebellum, a more basic part of brain, which is common to all vertebrae. In addition to brain tissues, we also used samples of two non-neural tissue, muscle and kidney. The samples were processed by Patrick Gewelisko at the Max Planck Institute for Plant Physiology in Gom, in Germany, and their lipidome composition was measured using liquid chromatography mass spectrometry. Our first observation was that brain and non-neural tissues show a very different lipid composition. It turns out that even though lipids are the fundamental molecules of our tissues, those in the brain are different from those in other organs. Next, we compared lipid concentration levels among species and quantified how many of them are characteristic to each of the species. Overall, the amounts of lipidome change in brain scale proportionally with the phylogenetic distance among species. However, if we separate these changes between specific lipids that are present or absent in the brain, we observe a striking disproportion. Most of the changes happen among lipids present in the brain. And what's even more interesting, in the neocortex there is an excess of human-specific change over the chimpanzee-specific change. In the cerebellum, proportions between human and chimp are equal. So what this means is that over 6 million years of human evolution, the lipidome of the neocortex accumulated almost the same amount of change as the macaque neocortex did over a period seven times longer. Well, clearly that must have been very important for our brain's evolution. Indeed, these human-specific lipids are involved in signaling in neurotransmitters, immune response and neurodegenerative diseases. Overall, we see that lipids present in the brain evolved over four times faster than those in other tissues, which suggests they play influential roles in the specialization of brain functions and in different species. And in particular in humans, they might have contributed to the unique cognitive functions of the human brain. Lipidome studies are still technically challenging, but we believe that an understanding of brain function, and in particular its human-specific features, is incomplete without deepening our knowledge on lipids in our brains. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more about lipids in our brain, please read our manuscript and check our webpage for our follow-up lipidome studies.